Allow me to illuminate the situation. <laughs> Hi cuties, it's me, your trying big sis. And as you can see, I've moved to my cabin on the space rig. <laughs> this is mostly where you'll find me these days, uh, or maybe in the Abyss Bar. Sorry about the lack of content the past couple of weeks. I, I sort of burned out and just needed a break to chill out and play games myself. But um, I'm going to start making content again now. I've got a few videos in the works that will be uh, released within the next week. I've got, um, I've got A Tale of Two Scouts 2. Uh, Today Scout Learns. Praetorians, um, Road to Legendary 3, what did I learn about being a Has 5 Scout? I did have another one, <laughs> I forgot what the other one was, but I, I, I've got a list that I'm, I'm getting through slowly. <laughs> and also two trans videos. This one, uh, what if I don't pass, what if HRT doesn't work, revisited. And I've got one, and maybe a little controversial, maybe, maybe not. Uh, generally, people who like me and view my channel know that I'm not very, I'm not very politically correct or very trans trender friendly. So yeah, we'll, we'll be talking about that. The difference between a transsexual, you know, someone who's actually medically transitioning and a trans the transgender TM <laughs> transgender superscript TM who think you know Beardo Barry can just identify as a female and he's exactly the same as someone who suffers dysphoria and actually goes through the trouble of medically transitioning to, to actually be the opposite sex you know anyway oof. I'll save that for the other video, <laughs> it triggers me. What if HRT doesn't work? If you remember, it was... Which video was it? My, my two month HRT video? Yes, I believe it was. It was, it was this clip. What if HRT doesn't work? Uh, I've been worrying about this a lot lately. Uh, really, because... Here's the thing, I said I was going to try transitioning and if it didn't work, I'd, I'd suicide then um, and that's sort of a pact that I made with myself. So I, I'm really hoping HRT works because I, I don't think that's changed to be honest, I mean I can't. I can't go back to my old self and if, and if, and if HRT doesn't work and transition is a, a fail then what's left? I don't know. I'm scared of what to do if HRT doesn't work now because I don't want to die. I don't, I don't want to die. Hey. Yeah, as you can see I, I was I was not a happy sis. Big sis was big, 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 big sis was a bit of a Debbie Downer in them days. <laughs> them days. <laughs> One month ago, <laughs> I've been thinking that. Oh, you see, the longer I'm on HRT, my mood improves. See, when I first started, I have schizophrenia. By the way. I'm, I'm schizophrenic, like proper schizo. And I'm, I don't mean schizo as in the internet language version of schizo. I, I mean schizo as in I'm actually legitimately taking antipsychotics because I'm actually legitimately, actually genuinely a freaking schizophrenic. <laughs> Which made it really, really hard for me to connect to people and make friends. I, 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 I suffered from, um, I still do sometimes suffer from paranoid delusions. I think everybody's out to get me. I see messages everywhere. I, I, I have 
auditory hallucinations and also back then I, I had this inner monologue that, that was telling me to kill myself and messy stuff but anyway the longer I'm on HRT the, the more my mood improves and the antipsychotics you've 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 probably noticed my videos have slowed down lately like my like my uh, I'm not good at talking anyway because of my brain damage <laughs> but the antipsychotics have sort of dulled me even more so I have to really think about my sentences so I, I'm sorry if I'm a bit um, unstructured or, or disorganized I'm working on it and I'm, I'm improving anyway I revisited this old clip to really think about it when I first transitioned it was a form of self-harm you know I would I thought you know oh, I'll turn myself into a tranny that'd be funny for my enemies <laughs> or my, fo my former enemies which turned out to be fictional schizophrenic I was basically punishing myself for being such a terrible person and thinking back apart from you know I wasn't I wasn't the best of people like I could I could be short and, and immature but thinking back was I that bad really I, I had a large network of friends I had a fiance I was well liked I think the schizophrenia was was sort of gradually building up over the years and I just sort of when COVID hit and I lost my job I sort of became a shut-in I, I, th I, I think that's when the schizophrenia really sorry hang on let me turn my discord blue bloops off yes anyway I think I built this narrative up in my head about myself which, which I mean I spent years self-harming and punishing myself for, for things I'm not even sure were real anymore I, I, I don't know but uh, either way I, I don't think I deserve to die I don't deserve to die I, I haven't killed anybody I've never raped anybody I used to say nasty things when I was in a bad mood or I wanted to piss somebody off but thinking back again the only people I used, I used to go after were bad people nasty people bullies you know I in APB Reloaded I saw gold players bullying bronze players so <laughs> so I downloaded an aimbot and a wall hack and speed hacks and ran around APB slaughtering every gold player in sight <laughs> uh, which probably you know wasn't nice but was was the extent of the evil monster that, that I sort of painted myself as uh, and as crimes go you know I regret it and, and, and I am sorry and, and do apologize to the APB community for the way I was back then but do I deserve to die for that really I mean isn't turning myself into a tranny enough <laughs> it'll be four months HRT in just two weeks in two weeks I'd have been on HRT four months now and you know what I I actually don't regret the way things have gone I, I don't mind that I'm a tranny anymore but 
I, I, you know, I don't, I don't like my voice because you know, it's such a mismatch. But I'm, I'm working on that. I've, I've got my second voice coach lesson next week. I've had multiple electrolysis 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 hair removal I've had multiple hair removals <laughs> for my facial hair luckily I was I must have always been low testosterone thing to be honest because I've never had much body hair I think I think testosterone affects that right and I've never had you know, a little on my arms, a little on my legs, but I've I've never had like chest hair or back hair or tummy hair or bum hair, <laughs> you know, like like guys are supposed to have. I never I never had any of that. Back to the original question: What if HRT doesn't work? I don't know. See, online it probably won't matter much you know I can just keep living as my VTuber avatar online and hopefully by next year I'll, I'll have my female voice I'll have a girl voice so you know I can, I can sort of find this as my form of escapism I'm feeling and seem to be behaving a lot more feminine uh, my, my my friend Matthew noticed that that that's that's my English friend Matthew not my you know who you are <laughs> Matthew <laughs> he noticed that I I'm becoming more like like my hormones my my female hormones <laughs> anyway I'll be sad and disappointed and I'll probably cry regularly and not enjoy looking in the mirror. I'll be on 12 months HRT in February and if it doesn't look like I'm heading in the right direction in the feminine looks department there, maybe I'll look into FFS. You know, facial, facial feminization surgery. Uh, I'll probably have to crowdfund. But uh, you know, if 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 that happens, maybe. But if if it looks like, if it looks like even FFS won't help, femboy. You know, it's 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 not I. Deal. I, I want to be a girl. I wish, I wish I was a girl. But if HRT doesn't work and turn me into one, then you know what? What can you do other than, other than compromise and work with whatever life throws at you? We 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 play in a game of RNG. Life is just one big RNG game. We live in we, we we live in an RPG, basically. You know, the dice is rolled. Not much else you can do about it. I've decided that I won't kill myself in February. If I don't pass by then, I've decided that uh, instead of trying a big sis, I'll be. Femboy big sis. <laughs> I, 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 I realized recently that you know I can fall back on femboy and can still be feminine and, and dress feminine and be the way that, that that I feel comfortable being and like being and being treated. I can still use she/her pronouns, you know. But uh, instead of telling people, oh, I'm a transsexual, I can tell people, oh, I'm a femboy. Th that will... That will solve, you know, the, the, the problem of not passing as a real girl. and But still allow me to be 
treated as a real girl. Mm, okay. That's how femboys like to be treated and, and that's something people can understand but if you say you're a transsexual but you look like a guy there's a disconnect there between how you feel and how the how objective reality perceives you there's a disconnect you can't fight it you can't change objective reality you can't change the way you know you, you can't go around blinding everybody or in my case deafening everybody so they don't hear my voice <laughs> but you can say oh I, I, I'm a femboy <laughs> I, yeah, I'm someone who was born a guy but likes to be feminine <laughs> like I say it's, it's not it's not ideal and it's not living the dream, it's, it's not being the sex I want to be, but I guess it'll save me 26 grand that it cost for the SRS. <laughs> and, and, and I can keep my teeny tiny, teeny tiny pee pee. I can be, I can be a teeny tiny pee peed femboy. <laughs> so that's my plans now for if HRT doesn't work but I'm I'm not giving up I'm 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 a little more hopeful than I was just a couple of weeks ago uh, excuse me excuse me it's you <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> so what do you think about my plan? Are you. I hope this has put to rest some fears and worries, my wonderful, amazing, and caring and loving, amazing, and more than I deserve, more than I ever hoped for, new friends. Matthew and Goatee, sorry, Fish, eh, Femboy, <laughs> eh, that's Nico the Femboy, and my old friends, Matthew, Andre, Pingy, you're all M, Emmy. I love Emmy. You know, when, when Emmy first followed me on, on Twitter, because she looked well dodgy to me because this was pre antipsychotics, see? <laughs> and her, her, her avatar and, and, and profile sort of triggered my my schizoism so I was I was very paranoid and suspicious of her at first <laughs> so, uh, sorry about that Emmy yeah. that's her uh, rats but uh, I, I really like her I'd like to get closer to her she's really nice and Emily I like Emily and Sophia, she's always nice to me. I like Sophia and Kit and just just Kaiser. Yeah, I, although I think Kaiser's gone off me somewhat. He doesn't really talk to me anymore. Doesn't seem to like me anymore. But in the early days, he was he was always there for me. He knows I'm schizo. <laughs> I was I was having a schizo attack once while talking to him and, and so he, he turned on the microphone to talk to me and sort of calmed me down. So I'll always be grateful to him. Did I mention Matthew? Fortran 
I, I, when I first joined the Fortran server, I, I went schizo on them. <laughs> but there was a, a couple, Ash and, and Sage, who kept me on their friends list and they, they didn't they didn't message or bother me I, I, I didn't really give them much reason to but they they recently re-invited me and and welcomed me back into Fortran and that's nice nice being it, it felt like being back home even because I didn't know I don't know any of them much but when I first transitioned Fortran was my only gate into transsexualism if that makes sense they were my only trans contacts my only sort of people to look to for for, for advice and and how to behave and hrt and and j just reading their mess i didn't participate much but but, but just reading their messages sort of it made me feel safe and not so alone. So I'm very grateful to them, the DRG community as a whole, they, the, the, the Discord. They sort of treat me like I'm one of them now. And that's, that's really nice. The, the first time they did that, I cried. <laughs> they were just talking to me in the chat like I'm just one of them. And not treating me like... Hmm. I, th I, I suppose I didn't... See, I joined the DRG community pre-antipsychotics as well. And, and while I was in the height of my, um, you know, turning into a tranny anxiety. <laughs> So I was, I was always suspicious and dismissive and, and, and put this barrier. I, I was very unapproachable and I may, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but I, I hope you can see from my latest videos, by the way, if anybody from the DRG community is watching that, 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 that I'm trying to contribute and give back and I do care. Yeah. I hope HRT works. I mean, I'm feeling it's emotional and mental and psychological and effects lately. So I'm hoping the physical effects will come soon. I mean, I'm still only on two milligram. I'm on two milligram. I'm doubling to four milligram. And then at the six month mark, I'll go to six milligram. Or is it the ninth, the nine month mark? I'll, I'll, I'll go to eight milligram. And I think after nine months, I think after the nine month mark, if it doesn't really look like I'm going in the right direction, I'll, I'll probably switch to injections. Hopefully my financial situation will be better then if not I'm gonna have to cut back on food even more <laughs> oh, it's, it's not fun. you know for, for months now I, I've been going two or three days a week without food because I just can't afford it <sighs> I have to start going three or four days without if if I have to switch to injections that's good uh, and then or stop turning my heating on I'll, both of them. Oh my god. Anyway. Yep. That's it. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video soon, which will be a DRG video. I promise. Um, I promised that I'd do the Has 5 Scout video first, so I'll get on that straight away. I'm just sort of learning from. I'm re-watching my old videos and sort of learning from my past mistakes and then re-watching my newer videos, my Has5 solo videos to, to, to really see what I've learned and, and what I do different now to what I used to and hopefully it, it'll be educational to help those 
who want to break into Has5 but are struggling. Yeah. Big Sis is here to help you. <laughs> I will uplift you. <laughs> okay. I'm going to the I'm gonna head to the Abyss Bar to get a sandwich. Bye bye! Bye bye! See ya suckers! Zippity!